Good morning and welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how we drain, flush, and maintain our black and gray tanks while living full time on the road. But first, let me go hook everything up and then I'll come get you. Before we go any further, I wanted to say we actually have a Grand Design Momentum 397 and it has two black tanks and two gray tanks. But what I'm about to show you, it doesn't matter how many tanks you have or how big they are, the process is still the same. So I got everything hooked up and real quick, I wanna to talk to you about these little gate valves I have. If you don't have one of these installed on the end of your sewer tube, I suggest you get one. It's just a gate valve made by Volterra and it's a backup plan if you forget to close your pool valves and it makes it easier to hook everything up without making a mess. So anyway, I got everything hooked up. I'm gonna open my gate valves and then I'll show you how we drain our tanks. So we're camping and our tanks are starting to get full. So when do we dump and how do we dump? Well, first things first, if it's just a gray tank, you can dump it any time. If it's the black tank, I prefer to let it get completely full before I dump it. So in this case, we're gonna have to dump our black tank as well. So I'll show you how we do that. I come over here and I'll pull my black tank valve. And then I will let that completely drain out before I go to the next step. My black tank has finished draining. So I'm gonna come over here, push my valve back in, and then I'm gonna go ahead and pull both of my gray tank valves. And we do this because we wanna chase all the trash and gunk from the black tank out with the gray water. There's one, and there's two. For our camper, we actually have two sewer connections. One back here, which is our back bathroom black tank. And then up here in the front, the front three tanks are tied into the same sewer tube for the front of the camper. We have our black tank for our main bathroom. We have the washing machine and shower gray tank. And then we have the galley and rear shower gray tank up here as well. But what I'm showing you right now only works for our front tank. I'm gonna show you how we handle the back tank when I get back there. Well, our front gray tanks are now done draining. So let me close those valves up. Gray tank one and gray tank two. All right, so we're normally camping. Our job is done. We're done draining our tanks. The back tank, however, doesn't have a gray tank to follow it. So I usually wait until moving day to take care of draining that one. And I'll show you that in a minute. I just showed you how we drain our tanks while living full time on the road. Now I'm gonna show you how we flush our tanks. And normally I do this the day before we pack up to leave. But first, let me get my stuff ready and then I'll come back and show you what we do. So, we're ready to start flushing our tanks, but the first step is to do what we just did, which is drain your black and your gray tanks. Now the gray tanks, they're done until later when we go in and treat them. The black tanks, however, I'm going to show you how we flush them and clean them prior to treating them. So we have all of our stuff ready and we're about to start flushing our black tanks. You need three things to do this job. One is that little clear 90. They also make a 45 that can go right there. It doesn't matter which one you have, but you'd like to be able to see what's going on inside your tube. Two need a flow meter and three you need a dedicated black hose to do this job because you don't want to use your fresh water hose to flush your black tanks i've got everything hooked up ready to flush we have our black hose hooked to our flow meter hooked to our black tank flush we have two black tanks and the process is the same for the front tank and the back tank however the back tank doesn't have a gray water to chase it with so typically since it's our secondary bathroom we wait until moving day to go ahead and drain and flush this tank and that's how we keep it clean before we get started flushing there's two things you need to do one make sure the pull handle is pushed in so your black tank is closed and can hold water and two you need to know how big your black tank is. In my case, it's 54 gallons. I wanna fill this tank up to about 75%. So for me, that's around 40 gallons of water. Okay, so it's gonna take that guy a little while to get full, but about 40 gallons will come out here and we'll drain it. So we're finally right around 40 gallons. Actually, overshot it a little bit, 42. That's why we have a flow meter, so we don't overfill our tanks. Now, we're gonna come right over here. I'm gonna pull the valve i'm gonna let the back rear tank flush for the first time so we got the back tank going for round two of its flush and what i've typically found is the first flush is almost as dirty as the initial drain the second one about halfway through it starts getting clear and by the third one almost the entire flush is clear typically it takes me three flushes to get the tank really clean but I did experiment one time and I tried to go every other move to see if it made a difference and it did. By skipping a move, 
we almost had to do four or five flushes to get it back clear. So I'm back on every time I move, I flush the tanks. So the reason I always drain and flush my tanks before move day is because I want them nice and clean. I want them filled up to about 20% of their volume and I want to properly treat them so that tomorrow when we're moving, I can continue to clean and agitate my tanks. Just got done with our third round of flushing on this back black tank. The water's running pretty clear now. So we're gonna go ahead and shut the valve. We're gonna fill the tank up with five gallons of water. Then we're gonna move our water hose and all of our equipment to the front black tank and repeat the process. We just finished up with flushing of the front black tank. Now we got both black tanks full of five gallons of water. We're gonna head inside and add our products. We got Zep citrus degreaser. We got some borax, we got some Dawn dishwashing soap, and we got Happy Camper. Now this is called the BioGeo method, and so far it's been working out really well for us. So on our gray tanks, I'm gonna add one cup of Zep, and one cup of borax, and one scoop of Happy Camper. And for our black tanks, I'm gonna add one cup of borax, one cup of Dawn dishwashing soap, and one scoop of the Happy Camper. Now, so far, it's been working out really well for us. Our tanks are pretty clean, our sensors work most of the time, and there's little to no odor. Now we know there's other methods out there. So if you got something you've been doing that's working out better, let us know in the comments down below and we'll give it a try. We're here in the camper and we actually have two gray tanks and two black tanks. So the first one we're gonna work on is our front gray tank, which is actually for our washing machine, our sink and our shower. So I've already filled it up full of water. Now we're gonna add our borax. All right, we're gonna add one scoop of Happy Camper. And we're gonna add our Zep. All right, so now we get that added. I'm gonna go ahead and stir it up because the borax will actually become almost a solid unless you stir it up and it'll actually get stuck in your drains. Ask me how I know. It's happened. Can I ask a question? What's that? It's safe to use with a bare hand? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's just degreaser. Oh, okay. Then I let it drain. Keep stirring it because the borax actually does want to start becoming a solid. Let it drain down once. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and plug it up. Fill it up one more time. So what you just saw was how we treat our gray tanks. I'm gonna have to repeat the process on our back gray tank, which is for our kitchen sink and our back shower. Now, I'm gonna show you how we treat our black tanks. Almost the same process. We're gonna add borax to the toilet bowl. We're gonna add some Dawn dishwashing soap. And we're gonna give it one scoop of the Happy Camper. All right, now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and flush it. All right, we're gonna fill it back full of water and you can see the borax likes to become a solid. So we'll just stir it up. And now, I'm gonna have to go back to the back black tank, which is our back bathroom, and do the same process. Yeah, our tanks have been drained, flushed, and cleaned, and now they have treatment in them. So tomorrow, when we arrive at our new campground, we will just live as normal, only drain the tanks as needed when they get full. We won't repeat this process until it's time to move the camper again. Hope this helps you out. Now, if you do something a little different, let us know down in the comments. Maybe we'll give it a try. Mm -hmm.